In this math video produced by the Washington Student Math Association, we are going to explore the mysteries of a fractal called the Koch snowflake, a shape that is supposed to have a finite area but an infinite perimeter. We wanted to know what the public thought, so we took it to the streets. We showed them this gif and asked if it was possible to wrap a string around it. Yes. Um, why though? Why do that? I think it? Because a string, you can make a string turn into anything. Yes. What makes you say that? You mean with a string all the way around the outside? Yeah. Oh, does it have... Touching each part? Is it... Yeah. Yeah, like, like... Yeah, so it touches every... Around, part. wraps around the entire shape. Oh. Uh, I guess if you had a long enough string where you could go around every little edge... Mm -hmm. First we show the perimeter of the Koch snowflake is infinite. To do so, we start with an equilateral triangle of side length 1. We divide each side into lengths of one third. From each divided segment, we draw more equilateral triangles to create the next iteration. From each original side, we now have four lengths of one third. So, which, so with each new iteration, we have four sides times one third, which is the length of each of these sides. So with each iteration, the perimeter increases by a factor of four thirds. Every iteration, the perimeter increases all the way to infinity. Now we have to show that the area of the Koch snowflake is finite. First, notice how in this first iteration, we've added three triangles. If we divided this original equilateral triangle into nine equilateral triangles, we'll see that the triangles we added, they're each one-ninth the area of the original. So we've added three new triangles, each with one-ninth the area of the original, and the area that we've added is three-ninths. Now we're going to draw another iteration of the Koch snowflake. In this next iteration, we've added 12 triangles. Each triangle is one ninth the area of the previous triangle, if we divide the previous equilateral triangle to nine equal equilateral triangles. And that, of course, is one ninth the area of the original. So the area we've added is 12 new triangles, each one ninth times one ninth the area of the original. And this is equal to 12 80 firsts. So you can see that the first iteration, we added 3 9, the area of the original. The second iteration, we added a smaller amount, 12 80 first, the area of the original. And the common factor between these is 4 9. So with each iteration, the area we add has a common factor of 4 9. This is a geometric series which tends to zero and eventually converges. Thus, the area of the Koch snowflake remains finite. So what can we conclude from this video? Well, we have learned that we are able to enclose a shape that requires an infinitely long string to create with a fixed amount of string. Therefore, we have shown a shape with finite area but infinitely long perimeter.